Oh, hey guys, thanks for uh, coming out and meeting me at the property. I appreciate it. I'm John. Yeah, nice to meet you. You must be Hillary. Yes. I am Bob. Hey, Bob, good to meet you guys. Pleasure. Uh, so, it was great to chat with you on the phone, and uh, you've mentioned before that you had seen other properties in the past with other agents. So, uh, because you have seen all these other properties, you've, uh, you're obviously very familiar with this form, right? No. 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 Bob, have you seen this, <laughs> these properties? No, I'm not sure. No? Okay. So, if you haven't seen this form, and I'm not completely shocked because most people I meet for the first time haven't seen this form yet, but according to Massachusetts state law, it's required that all licensed real estate agents show you this form before they show you a property. So the fact that you haven't seen one of these before is a little concerning uh, because every agent that you've seen the house with that didn't do this didn't do what they were supposed to do according to their licensing law. All right. Mm -hmm. So it says right here, this is not a contract. <laughs> okay. This is simply a disclosure notice. Okay. So I, uh, my, I actually listed this property for sale, and the seller has hired me to negotiate the best price and terms for guess for who? The seller. For them, right? Yeah. So they hired me to do that. So Massachusetts licensing law requires me to explain to you that I work for the seller and show you this in writing and show you what your options are. And then I need to show you this form, and then you can sign the form here just saying that I've given you the disclosure. So before we go into the property, upon the first meeting that you meet with any real estate agent, they're supposed to go through this form with you, okay? Mm -hmm. So I have a copy for me and a copy for you, so you'll be able to take and read it. I'm, I've checked off here that I'm the seller's agent for this particular property, and I've signed it here, and then you folks are going to sign it. But before we do that, I want to just go to the next page, and it tells you there are five different types of real estate agents. There's a seller's agent, buyer's agent, a facilitator, a designated agent, and a dual agent. I bet you didn't know there were so many different types of agents, right? No. So, <laughs> so uh, what you need to know is for showing this property is that I'm the seller's agent. My job is to negotiate the best price and terms for the seller. Now, there's a buyer agent down here, and guess who that agent represents best price and terms for? Us. Of the buyer, right? Yeah. So you can choose to use a buyer's agent to buy this property if you want to, uh, or you can just simply work with me and I'll help you buy the property as well. I just can't uh, disclose any information about the seller and their motivation to sell the property and so on and so forth. Does that make sense? Sure. Now, I am obligated to disclose everything and anything there is about the property itself, so I'll make sure that I explain all that to you as well. Okay? Okay. Excellent. And then a facilitator is an agent who does not work for either party. They're just facilitating the transaction. A designated or a seller's uh, buyer's agent is uh, another agent that's in the same company that doesn't have to negotiate or represent the seller for the property, um, even though another agent does. So, uh, and that's true with a buyer as well. Just because one, I'm one agent that represents the seller here, there are other agents in my company that don't represent the seller that you could work with to buy the property. I'm the designated listing and selling agent for this property, but there are other agents in my company that are not, okay? And then there's a dual agent. That's when, let's say that you hired me as a buyer's agent last week, and then I listed this property and you wanted to buy this property. Well, I would be a dual agent, and that's why I represent both parties. I'd have to get your permission up front to be able to do that and be okay with the seller for them to do that as well. Uh, however, that's not the situation here, but if that happened, that's what a dual agent is. So explain in detail. Again, I'll give you a copy, and you can review it and let me know your thoughts at that point. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all I need you to do is just, I'm going to sign it here, and then I need you guys to uh, just <coughs> sign and print your names here and put the date on the side. Alright, so let's go in and uh, take a look at the property. Okay. Alright. Alright, 